take a look at some relationships here. Um, there are a couple of different ways I can create relationships. One is I can come in under design, I can go create relationship, I can say on the sales table I have a sale date, and on my calendar table I have a date key. I should be able to create a relationship based upon that. Hey, there we go. I've now created a relationship based upon the date key over to the calendar. So now I have related tables created. That's very useful. That was nice, but again, this can be a little bit complex. If you don't know what you're looking for, you have a couple dozen tables, you don't know what you're, uh, what you're looking for, sometimes it's a little bit nicer to just be able to go into a diagram view, be able to take a look at it this way. And here we go, I can click on this and see, uh, I have date key to sale date. That works. Now, I have a products table that's not related, but I have product name and product name, so I imagine those guys are probably relatable. So let me see if I can create that relationship. And in fact, I was. I now have a relationship between product name and product name, and uh, the date and the sale date. So I'm actually doing a full relationship across the board here. Um, now that is pretty useful stuff. Can I demo how to get to the OData endpoint? Yes, I can. Uh, I'm going to save that for after the, this break that's about to come up here in uh, just a few minutes. Um, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I've got about five minutes to break. Um, just because uh, I have the wrong uh, uh, URL written down, uh, and I will show you how to build that out, because I'm going to do it for myself during the break. So, um, John, if you can bear with me for just a couple of minutes, I will demo that for you, um, because that is extremely important on how do you actually get to a no data endpoint, especially being able to pull something in uh, out of the cloud. Very, very useful stuff, and I promise I will demo that for you here in just a little bit. So, I think that's all the questions I have at the moment. There is one more set of data that I want to grab here from the Azure Data Marketplace. Well, it looks like they may have uh, done away with my uh, free data source that I was using. That happened in the past 48 hours. so. We will fix that up real fast and be able to show you that uh, mapping information. But one of the things I want to do is I'm going to start down the path of doing a little bit of DAX here. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, DAX is not a scary thing. Um, DAX is very, very straightforward. Um, it is Excel language for folks. Um, the key to it is IntelliSense is beautiful. So if I want to be able to do a simple concatenate statement, here it's telling me exactly what I need to do in order to be able to make that work. So I want to be able to do a city-state here. So I can simply and it tells me what the context is. I do a comma. I want to join those two together. I do space and then state and then close my bracket there. And that should give me city state. That's useful. But I kind of want that separated. So I'm going to do it a little bit of a different way when we come back. But I wanted to demonstrate for you how we do concatenate statements. So here we go, let's pop this over here. The nice, simpler way to deal with it in, uh, in DAX, because that's more of a T-SQL kind of a way. Um, and 
there we go. So can't really get there the way that I want to get there from that perspective. But what I can do is simply do a quick join from here, city, and then in between some ampersands, I'll throw a comma with a space, and then state. And at the end of this, I'm also happy to give you the uh, couple of quick links on how to do that very quick DAX, um, such as this. Uh, this is the more DAXy way to do it. Now I just want to give this column a name, such as city state. So if I want to be able to do hierarchical uh, map drills, I'm going to need something a little bit more than that. Um, so I can start typing here. I can say address. And again, I'm going to do that same ampersand. I'll do some brackety guys here. Well, I guess I need city. And then let's throw state in here as well. I need to close that guy out. State. And what the heck, just for good measure, I'll throw a zip code in there also. So I can do a true drill down on the map. With that, I've now got a full column, even though it was separated out this way in my data set. So I'm actually able to, to mash that data up and make it more useful. So when we come back, um, I will show you the uh, OData endpoint piece and then uh, how to do more with the uh, power view here. Uh, and then lastly, uh, I'll get into some performance point as well uh, as we start to round out the class.